Everyone is going to die. You are going to die. I am going to die. We don't know when our last day here on earth will be, but it could be today. So my question for you is, are you going to heaven or to hell? And what are you hoping and what are you trusting and what are you clinging on to to get there? Are you hoping in yourself and your good deeds, thinking that they'll save you? Well, the Bible is clear. It says that without believing in the gospel, we'll all be heading to hell. But what exactly is the gospel? Well, what is the gospel? The gospel is simply this. I think I can summarize it literally in four words. God, man, sin, and Jesus Christ. God, I'll just summarize each one of those briefly. God, who made the world perfect, uh, including man, no sin whatsoever. The gospel begins with God. It doesn't begin with man. It's God's good news for man. And we've got to therefore understand something about the character of God. Uh, that God is holy, that God is righteous, uh, that God is our holy and righteous creator that we are accountable to. Um, and so therefore we have to understand the character of God and the reality that he has made us, we didn't make ourselves. Of course that brings us to consider man. Uh, man's man is God's creation, created in God's image uh, to reflect God's character, uh, to live in a way that honors and glorifies God. The problem is that man has disobeyed God. And as a result of that, come under God's judgment. God's holy character must judge man's rebellious, sinful conduct. Consequently, as a result of that, of man sinning against God, there was a, a great divide between God and man. Man could no longer have that fellowship with God as God had intended. And so man lives in a world that is under God's judgment. We don't live in the world as it was originally created. We're in this terrible predicament of judgment and wrath and death. So to understand the gospel, the good news, you have to first understand the bad news. And the bad news is, is that there is one holy, loving, good creator God and everyone across the globe has sinned against this God. Everyone has broken his law. Everyone has disobeyed him. Because of that, every single person deserves to go to hell. Every single person deserves eternal death because of their sins against God. But uh, thankfully, God, Genesis 3, knew he had a plan to redeem the lost man and mankind. He sent Jesus Christ into the world to, to save sinners, to save people. And that is his desire is to save all people. God desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. And so that's God's desire. Sadly, not all people will be saved because they reject God. But the good news is, is that God is a God of love, mercy, and grace. Because of this, he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to earth. Jesus lived a perfect life, not like me, not like you. He lived absolutely perfect, sinless life. And then he went to a cross, and he was murdered on a cross. And on that cross, he sacrificed himself for us. He died to pay the penalty for the sins of every single person who would ever trust in him. And after he died, he rose again from the dead, conquering death. Now that's really good news. But that good news doesn't do anything for you unless you respond to it. So you must respond to the good news and the Bible says you must respond to it by repenting and putting your trust in Christ. Repenting, turning from your sin to, to God and trusting in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation. So thankfully, that's where our grace comes in, in Jesus Christ, the living manifestation of God, God incarnate, God brought down to man. Thanks to Jesus Christ dying upon the cross for those who would believe in him, Christ made an atonement for those sins that man committed against God, those, those acts of treachery against God. So consequently, now man has, has an opportunity to be right before God if they place their trust in Christ and Christ alone for salvation. No amount of works that one can do 
will ever earn their way to salvation? Nothing. So if you have not placed your trust in Christ, in Christ alone for salvation, you're still lost and you'll be forever lost. Um, and that's where the good news comes in. The gospel comes in because God has in his grace and in his mercy sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, into the world in order uh, to reverse the effects of man's rebellion, man's fall. And so the Lord Jesus has come uh, to live the life that we cannot live because of our sin and to offer himself as the sacrifice for sin uh, that we need in order to be pardoned before a holy God. So the good news is Jesus Christ has lived and died and risen from the dead. Uh, and as a result of that, of course, the gospel then demands a response. And the response that God calls us to is to believe the gospel and to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and to turn from our sins. 